Hey, what's up guys? Just want to spread a little message that I've been talking about a lot in my coaching lately. So I thought I'd spread it to you guys too. It's about two things. It's it, that are crucial to health in my opinion. Well, the first one is really crucial and that's fun. Okay. And the other one is music as a biohack. So I just posted, I'm going to a reggae concert. I'm so excited. I just found out that it, one of my favorite reggae musicians is in Salt Lake tonight and I got the last two tickets. So I'm like losing my mind right now. I listen to him every day, call me buds. But anyway, let me, let me tell you guys, um, like one thing that's been very like life changing healing to my soul, like has changed my entire energy and vibration is consciously thinking about how can I make this more fun? How can I have more fun? Everything I'm doing, what I'm eating, my workouts, who I'm hanging out with, if I'm working, if I'm driving my kids to school, everything. I'm like, how can I make this more fun? And intentionally having fun. I think having fun is a crucial part of health that is seriously overlooked. <laughs> Anybody with me on that? Like as adults, we become so serious, so freaking goddamn serious, you know? And like, you cannot vibrate at a high vibration when you're just like serious work, focus, grind all the time. I don't think you can be fully healthy if you're not happy. That a long, long time ago, I started looking like you guys know how it is. You're on social media. You're like observing people, colleagues, social media, everyone I was meeting in the health field. I started like just kind of noticing. I'm like, are they happy? Are they like happy people? Do they seem happy on the inside of their soul? When I see that, when you're healthy and you seem happy, I'm like, they got something. They got, I want to know what they got. Right. And this like, so how do we, how do we have more fun? Yeah. Life will kill people if you don't have fun and laugh. Seriously. Yeah. You like to go out and have fun. And even like at home, like how can you make it more fun? I do. Do If you guys are parents, please tell me you're silly with your kids a lot. It's the best thing you can do. Like we are so silly. I got like 10 different accents that I do with my kids all the time. <laughs> I'm surprised that they still like it. <laughs> we got all these little characters and we play all these little games we, we got music going all the time. We're dancing around in our kitchen area, just being silly. Like I love it when we're playing something on the Alexa and I'll just observe three of my kids, like just like getting down in their own little element. And that is so important for us too as adults. So like, are you having fun? I have a lot to do this weekend. I, I'm not going to lie. I have a lot to do. And I found out about this and I'm like, no, dude, it's important for me. I'm going to, I mean, it starts at eight o'clock. What am I really going to do that builds my, I have a lot of business stuff. I'm not going to work after eight o'clock at night anyway. And I know that when I'm having fun, everything in my life goes up. I become more creative. I become more happy. The stuff I'm creating also becomes more fun because I'm in that high, high vibrational energy right? Do you guys want to partake of something for me that I like created in a very stressed state and it's all serious? No. <laughs> so that's something I've looked at in my business too. Like I really watch that in myself. I'm like, am I having fun? Cause if I'm not having fun, my clients probably aren't having fun. Right? So fun, happiness, laughing, intentionally bringing it into our lives. That's part of health. If you're not happy, you're like stressed out. You're tracking all your macros. You're grinding in the gym and you're building your business. And it's just stress, stress, stress. That's not health. That's not it. That's not it. And so for me, I'm constantly looking at like, what's dragging me down? Like, okay, so can I make that more fun or do I need to change it? So fun and happiness. The other thing is music as a biohack. Are you guys using music? It is like, first of all, it's free pretty much. <laughs> and maybe a small subscription or you can do like free Spotify, but that kind of sucks. <laughs> but like intentionally using music to put you basically in a trance state and the words that are coming into your mind while you're in that trance, because it is definitely putting you in a trance state. It's one of the most powerful biohacks there is. So like be intentional with it. And my kids know full well that if they want to, they, they know what happens if the car turns on and the radio comes on. <laughs> I'm like, mm -mm. no, you don't get to tell me like what I'm going to listen to. <laughs> and you don't get to try to sell me your diamond rings and all this stupid bullshit on the, <laughs> on the commercials. So like music, I'm super intentional with it. And it's such a powerful way. I love house music. I love reggae music. I love all kinds of music and using that intentionally to change your state. When you, I, I like silence too. I definitely 
prioritize silence. That's really important as well. But I use music as a biohack. One of my most commonly used biohacks. So funny. I had a coach tell me to not use music. Yeah, no, I mean, to me, I mean, look, look ancestrally from like freaking earlier than we probably know. People have been using music to, to change our state, right? So no music, like it's important to be in silence. If you can't ever be in silence, that's something to look at too. <laughs> you probably run in from your own thoughts and that's important as well. But also sometimes, man, like there was a large period of my adult life that I was not using music intentionally to bring like happiness into my soul. And like another question, do you even know what kind of music you like? Do you know? That's important. So much of like boundaries is knowing what your preferences are. So if you don't even know what kind of music you like or what kind of movies you like or like what you actually like eating or like any of that, you don't know what your preferences are. You're honestly setting yourself up to just live a very, you're living, you're driving in the past. You're riding in the passenger seat of life instead of creating your own life the way you like it. Right. And I love the concept of life creation, creating my life with intention. It's cool. And you can't really create your life with intention in a way that brings you happiness if you don't know what you like. <laughs> right? So it's an important exercise. I notice especially women, especially women really fall into this people pleasing type role. Like I feel like we were a lot of our value, even as little girls was like, can I be a good little girl and please and do what mommy and daddy want? And then can I be like a self-sacrificing wife and mother that does what everybody else needs? That makes me a good wife and mother. And now I don't even freaking know what I like. I have had calls, zoom calls with clients where the question is, tell me one thing that you want. Or another one was tell me one thing that you love doing. Like it sparks life in you. And I, almost every single time on those calls, I'll have at least one or two clients that I'll, I'm like, I'll come back to you. They're like, dude, I don't know. They've been so busy just doing what they're supposed to do and responsibility shit. And you can tell in their energy, you know, they're just like, kind of got that bogged down, stressed out, like lower vibration. And it's not them. Like they have every potential to come out and be themselves again, but we have to honestly, just start understanding ourselves and what we like. So like, what kind of music do you like? What we got guys? What kind of music you like? We got somebody had eighties music. God bless your soul. Just kidding. <laughs> I like some eighties music, All right? Everybody's got a little different. Like, and, and also what is that music creating in you? Every thought, every frequency, every vibration is a creation. It creates something, right? It's a, it's a ripple effect. We're all affecting each other. I'm affecting you guys right now. Your comments are affecting me. 90s hip hop. I wanted to say the F word, but hell yeah. <laughs> yes, 90s hip hop. Definitely. R&B. Hell yeah. What else do you guys like? And like, are, do you bring it? Hopefully you bring it into your life, you know? So that's all. I just wanted to share about music and, and fun. And like, when was the last time you danced? Do you dance? Do you get like silly dancing? Like, are you like uncomfortable dancing? Cause I was that way for a long period of my life. It was like, I'm gonna kind of dance <laughs> and not like, you gotta get like full on little kid silly. Like it doesn't freaking matter what's coming out. This is just what I'm feeling <laughs> that level, you know? And it's like literally so good for your soul. It's, it's, it, it gets you in the energy of feeling uninhibited. It is so important for us. You've grown to love Zumba music. You, yeah. You know what? <laughs> um, there is a Zumba teacher at my gym. His name is Nick. He's a Polynesian guy. He has the best music. He, every Saturday morning he's in there and that class is freaking slammed. And <laughs> I go over to the gym and I say like, Hey, Siri, I don't want to make her, you know, I'll be like, what song is this? And I just take all his songs and I put them on my playlist. I got two new songs from him this morning. Zumba's, cause Zumba's fun. And I was watching those women in there and I was like, God damn, they're having so much fun, you know, good for them. They're having so much fun. And I, I love it when I, I like peek over there and I'll see like a woman, you can tell she's just in her freaking flow. She knows she got it. <laughs> and it makes me so happy for them. So like, do you have that? You dance in the kitchen this morning? Good. 
Yes. That's been like my assignment for some of my clients sometimes is I want you, I want you to put music on while you're making dinner and I want you to dance and I want you to like, let it freaking out, you know? Cause that, that, that action show, it, it's just this, like, it's okay to be me. And if you're not even okay to be you with you or like your kids or your significant other, like think about how you're showing up in the rest of your life. You're not even okay to be you with you. You know what I mean? So like, I feel like music and dancing and being silly is such a powerful way to start stepping into that energy of inhibition. <laughs> right? So anyway, all right, guys, we got, I dance. I'm trying to make sure I'm being safe here. There's not very many people out here. Um, before set that you're nervous about, Hey, you know, what also makes me happy is that you get nervous before you're set. <laughs> that's how I know you're pushing yourself. Good job. That's how, that's how I know when I'm like scared to start my next set, like literally scared. I'm like, yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> it's kind of something I look for. You do many of the same tactics. Awesome. Yeah, man. Cause I think when you're searching for like living life at the highest levels, I've noticed that those of us who are like really actively seeking that, like personally within ourselves, we kind of like get onto the same things, you know? <laughs> so anyway, happiness is a part of health. I guess I say that all the time, but it is. If you are not happy, if you're like stern and stressed and, blah, and your to-do list is super long, <sighs> kick back and have fun. Watch something that makes you laugh. Hang out with someone even better that that makes you laugh. You know, like the, I love to laugh. I'm like addicted to laughing. I'll be real. If I'm around somebody and I'm like never laughing, it's like, I don't even feel like I'm myself. <laughs> I'm like, why well, I need to laugh. <laughs> okay. I'll make myself laugh. You know? So like laughter, that kind of like belly laugh, like losing it. Like your face is like, you look like a crazy person because it's like contorted and stuck in like laughter and you can't even get out of it. And like you're like doubling over like that kind of energy is so, it's so good for our health. It gets us out of that stress state all the time. So yeah, but we have to like make it kind of like invite it, you know, go for it. What do you like? Um, concerts or shows or comedians, like, do you ever prioritize that? Like actually looking out for things and like planning that in your life? It's cool. Be proactive, you know? So yeah. And then like, that's my challenge for you guys is like, bring more music, more music and like little kid level of dancing. I'm not talking like, cause I like to like try to act like I'm all cool and stuff, but <laughs> like with my kids, <laughs> I will just start. We were, we're like shaking the car cause we're going so freaking bananas like that. That kind of energy is so freaking fun to just like let it all go, you know? So one last little thing that I will add on the mute, since this is about music, do you guys know who Parangi is? P O R A N G U I. I heard him on Aubrey Marcus's podcast, like probably four or five years ago. I consider him my music shaman. He is absolutely incredible. And like most of my medicine journeys have been to Parangi's music. I've, I've met him a few times. He's such a, like, he's like an angel on earth. But anyway, um, my Zion retreat, which is next weekend, is sold out. But Be The Wellness, who I partnered with on that, they're doing one at the same place. Like, they hooked me up with the place. They've been, they have this thing called Bee Fest that is, like, next level. I partnered with them because they are, like, they've been doing this for over 10 years. And they were, like, my dream, like, what I'm trying to get to with retreats. And then I found out they wanted to help people. I was like, yep. Anyway, but I'm going to their retreat. It's in the middle of May in Zion because I want to see how they do their thing. I want to see how the big dogs do it. And Parangi is going to be there. So if anybody knows who he is, Parangi is going to be at that retreat and they still have some spaces. So I'll be posting about that soon. Just heads up. But if you don't know who Parangi is, check him out. He has a one called, I think it's called guided journey album. And there's this chick named Ashley Klein who does like guided meditations with his music. And she's going to be at that retreat too. So it's going to be super freaking cool. So heads up on that. Um, okay. Thanks for joining me guys. Go laugh, go be silly, go have fun like, like, like crazy person face level of laugh. What makes you laugh that hard? Bring that into your life a lot, especially if they're people. 
value those people. I value the hell out of funny, witty people in my life. I'm like, thank God for you. <laughs> All right. And if you don't have that, comedians are very good for that. All right. All right. It's getting dark. Bye, guys. See ya.